Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. I'm in the area of the birds here in the cabin. Get to that in a second. One week down to the Pennsylvania archery season. Next weekend, the early muzzleloader season and a whole host of other hunting seasons open up on that weekend. We've got to say we're excited about it and our cameras are out there covering it. We were in Wayne County when a memorial pheasant hunt took place, the Christopher Rowan Memorial Pheasant Hunt. And I've got to tell you what, mom and dad surely honor their son with this pheasant hunt. We are in Lebanon Township, uh, close to Rileyville, PA, and we're sponsoring a youth hunt in memory of my son who got killed 10 years ago in a four-wheeler accident, but he was an avid hunter and fisherman. He was 28 and he was an avid hunter and fisherman, hunted every year. Uh, he was big into shooting deer, um, his limit, and then the extra meat he had, he would take and give it to like the older people who were not hunting anymore. So we figured this is a good way to hopefully we'll get more kids in his name out hunting. Um, because the youths aren't hunting like they used to be. He was very active in the Wayne County 4-H clubs, so the Junior Livestock Committee, they have a scholarship and I provide money to, donate money to that every year in his memory as well. Pheasant hunting. We're here, it's a beautiful preserve. Who's the connection to the pheasant hunting? The owner of the pheasant farm is uh, my brother-in-law, Jim Hardler. And it is gorgeous. It is, it's nice up here. So we, get donations and sell mums and do stuff to uh, make money and then sponsor hunt for usually eight kids a year we bring up. Oh. And we send them through a uh, clay bird shoot first and we put them out in the field with a, a hunter or a guide and a dog. And we let the kids hunt for about an hour out in the field. We put on a good lunch for them. There's gifts that we give them um, that have been all donated or used with donated money. The first hunter to take the field ended his hunt with two chuckers. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. So are those the first birds you've ever shot? Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool, right? Yep. These are our first Upland birds. Upland birds, yep. Upland birds, yep. Congratulations. Thanks. And the day even included a cleaning lesson for the successful sportsman. The plan is quite simple. A different hunter and an adult show up every hour throughout the day. The hunter is given the opportunity to warm up their shooting skills with a little trap shooting. We decided to follow Bob Chase and his son Grant through their morning. So Grant, anything, um, any sports? Do you do any of that kind of stuff? Baseball, soccer, anything? No, just hunting and fishing. So, so you're growing up with the, with the father who's addicted to hunting. Tell me, why are you here today? Is it is it the camaraderie with your dad, shooting animal? Tell me. I'm just coming out here to have have a good time, have fun, meet some new people, good time. Did you tell him to say that? I did not, I didn't coach at all. I had no idea what we were in for. <laughs> so we're gonna follow you, we're gonna go down and do a little bit of trap shooting. Are you good with the gun? Yeah, he's all right, you know. He's catching up to the old man. Is he? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's just go and have some fun then. How's that? I think we got a ringer. The That's pheasants it. better be worried about this kid. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> I was going to tell you to go coach him, but I think he's uh, doing okay. <laughs> nah, he's doing all right. <laughs> After the warm up, it was time to take to the field, but not before we meet our guide, Gene Keeler, and his dog. And what's your dog's name? King. King, okay. Well, I've been guiding since they put this together in memory of uh, Chris Rowan. And tell me what kind of dog you have and how's it hunt? I run English pointers. He hunts well. Well, we're going to cast him out. He's going to find the birds and uh, he's going to lock up on point. He'll stay still and uh, we'll set the shooter up and then we'll go and flush the bird. Bird will go up, they'll shoot it and he'll retrieve it. You got it all loaded? You got three yep. shells in there? Yeah, I got one in the chamber and one two. In there. Okay, got your safety on? Yep. Okay. Nope, go ahead. Nice job. That was a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you hit that thing right in the tail end over there, lad. Good yeah, shot. That's a chucker. Good dog. Oh, here's your good so you boy. Wanted, so, Grant, you wanted a chucker Ooh. for dinner. <laughs> there you go. Oh, boy. Thank you. <laughs> you carrying them? Huh? You might as well get your vest, buddy, right? That's yeah. right. I heard him. Now you shoot. You put another <laughs> shell in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just love to see the kids start to hunt. It seems like that uh, we're losing our younger kids in the hunting field, and I like to help them get started. And there's some people that try to get kids started by turkey hunting, by duck hunting. Yep. Upland birds for you, right? Yep. Well, that, see, I love hunting with dogs, and I, I run beagles and I run bird dogs, so I like to get kids started and, and hunting with dogs. Whoa. You ready? Got your safety off? Gun barrel up. Oh, careful now, take them out. I can remember going out with my dad, you know, hunting squirrels and hunting uh, 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 grouse. We were big into grouse when I was a kid. And I'd take two boxes of shells with me and sometimes I didn't get a bird. I follow you on Facebook. It seems like you're always looking for something to do out in the great outdoors. Uh, you know, I, I try to promote uh, kids getting outside. Uh, I belong to um, Pennsylvania Hunting and Fishing Addicts on Facebook. And uh, between my partner and I, we've done things with uh, Lancaster Pals, with the police, with the kids, taking them on hunts. Uh, I do Hunter's Ed instructor with the Game Commission. And I tell kids, you know, get out there. If you're successful, send me pictures, just like they send them into you. I can remember years being glued to the TV, watching the, for the pictures of us on there. Whenever we send something in, calling everybody in your family, tell them, hey, we're gonna be on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. That would be great. But uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, just getting the kids out, there's always something to do. We don't watch a lot of TV, uh, but uh, just like between fishing and right now we're out looking for mushrooms, we're hunting squirrels, we're, we're scouting for deer, we're looking for bear. Uh, there's so much to do. How important is it to be out hunting and having fun with your son? Oh, this is the best. I mean, uh, you get out here and you know, you're not always successful. You, know, you go out there and sometimes you don't see anything, sometimes you see things and miss and it's all about the memories, it's a good time. Whoa, be ready, right here. Bird's right here, whoa. Take them, nice. Nice, that was a good shot lad. Good, good lord. Right here, right here. For dinner, buddy. <laughs> that Ooh. thing froze in midair, it was awesome. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. That was a good when shot, lad. When you first kicked him, I'm like, oh, where'd he go? Here, yeah, let him carry him. Here, you can put him in my bag. That's why I had kids. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope they walk away with? Just the desire to hunt, to do more hunting and get involved more. And, and this is the place to do it. It is. We're out in the woods. For It's good here. So it was a great event. Thank you, Lee and Robin, for inviting us. And of course, we'd like to thank Bob and Grant for spending the day with us. He wrote to us later and said they had the chuckers for dinner and it was delicious. And of course, how about that place? Pheasant Hill Birds, beautiful place to do a shoot like that. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs>